Hello and welcome to the Digital Plantation. Because the internet world as we know is one big plantation. I'm your host, Dwayne, and I'm welcoming you to the first installment of our new podcast series. And we're doing this exclusively on the YouTube platform. Now, many of you are already familiar with Off Plantation Radio. Um, we are actually doing some rearranging with that. So this is going to be the sister broadcast of that. This is going to be the safer one. Now, Off Plantation Radio, that is where we really dig into the the details of the story and all of that stuff. So we're actually rearranging that and um, we'll be um, letting you know on where that's going to go really really soon but right now i wanted to go ahead and kick start on this and so this is going to be a very shorter podcast now you know if you're familiar with the um off plantation radio you know we usually go for like two plus hours you know but um with um this particular podcast here is going to be much much shorter and we're going to talk about just maybe a couple of stories if that as much my goal my target is 20 minutes okay we'll see what happens with that but anyway i'm so glad that you guys can um, join us today so we're going to jump right in and t- today i'm going to talk about a couple of things here we're going to talk about um something i've been noticing uh with the right okay <laughs> with the right and it's something that i've been noticing as of late it's always been there but it's something that um is creeping up yet again um, and then after that, we're going to get into something that happened uh, very recently at the White House. And uh, man, this if this had happened to anybody else, it would have been a whole nother war going on. But we'll get into that. And then finally, uh, we're going to talk very briefly about um, um, there was a video that was released by um, public television and um, talking about um, Anthony Fauci as he found the blackest part of Washington, D.C., to help preach the gospel of the you know what. And so uh, we're going to talk about that briefly. I wish I could play a lot more of it, but again, this is digital plantation. So anyway, let's get, I can't say, but so much on the digital plantation here, but, um, but anyway, we'll get into that on another, um, on our all plantation radio, but anyway, let's get into it. Now I tell you, I have been, um, you know, Stu Peters, if you're not familiar with him, um, he is a guy that has been, unloading a whole lot of information as it pertains to the um to the you know what the v scene okay i'll just say it that way because i'm on the plantation right anyway i won't be saying that too often (laughs) i think you guys get it but anyway um he has been unloading a whole lot of information about the the jab and um and it's been a lot of great information and um but one thing i've noticed as of late you know, because I don't follow him. Oh, well, I follow him on Twitter, but I don't like follow him. Like I don't wake up in the morning like, oh, I wonder what he's saying. I'm I'm not that guy, you know, but he is because I do follow him on Twitter. You know, there is, you know, he does come across my um, timeline quite a bit. And one thing I've been noticing him ever since Scott Adams, he's the guy that the cartoonist that came out and basically said, hey, listen, we just need to leave black people alone if they feel like we are a threat to them and all that. We just need to leave them alone. Now, I partially agreed with him. You know, I said, yeah, just keep all that energy over there. That's that's what I was saying. Right. That's what I meant by that. But I understood where he was really coming from, you know, but um, but I can only go by what he actually was saying. And um, so, you know, so part of me, I did agree with him. I said, yeah, just keep all that energy over there. Leave us alone. Exactly. You know, however, uh, what this thing also did is that it's starting to stir up and and I can't really attribute it to him, Scott Adams, because it's been there for a while. Um, But there has been, um, as of late, a lot of um, aggression, if you will, you know, coming from, you know, uh, um, I would say um, the active or politically active uh, whites. You know, the ones that you see a lot, you know, the talking heads on social media, you know, that tend to lean more towards the right and, um, you know, freedom first and let freedom ring. And, you know, this is my land and all that kind of stuff. And with the irony of that, it sounds just like the FBA people, foundational black Americans. But anyway, that's another story. But (laughs) but anyway, um, he has been putting out a string of tweets where basically he's been highlighting a lot of these videos, these crazy videos that you see. And I've been warning our people about this, you know, in just, um, you know, how a lot of these videos 
that have been uploaded that sadly our people have been uploading on social media, you know, showing us fighting, showing us tearing up stores and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And I remember years ago telling people, um, you know, I was on social, I was on, on the internet I was searching for something and I came across this, um, uh, web page. It was a, a video platform and, um, and it was, and little did I know, I was like, oh, this is like some kind of white supremacist platform. Cause everything I started noticing, I was like, oh, I, this clearly ain't YouTube. And so anyway, um, but I noticed that a lot of the videos that was coming up were some of the same videos. They were just actually connecting to videos that were posted on, um, on a, was it world star? So they were just reposting it. Literally, they were going to world star reposting videos that were posted on world star and putting on a white supremacist um, page. And so anything from fight videos, videos, you know, uh, women shaking their behinds, all that kind of stuff. I mean, just the lowest of the low. And so I've been warning our people for a long time. I said, listen, our people, you know, so some of our people, you better get a handle on this. If you see this stuff being posted on social media, you need to market. You need to, um, you know, market is dangerous or however you do. You know what I mean? Flag a video or whatever. Instead of these Internet beefs because someone believes in one thing and so on versus something else. You know, we do need to, you know, really start calling this stuff out as we see it on social media because it is very dangerous and can be very harmful. But what it also does, it fuels a certain element that's out there. And that is what's happening now. You know, so when I see people like Scott, uh, not Scott Adams, um, uh, Stu Peters, what he was doing as of late is, um, if you're not aware right now on, um, you know, they just had a spring breakdown in um, Florida or in Miami. And, you know, uh, sadly, you see a lot of people that look like us, unfortunately, down there acting a fool and acting crazy and all of that. And so he's starting. And then so with every post that he's doing, not just about that, but other fight videos that he's finding. And again, these are out of context things. So we don't know what happened prior to that. You know, um, they're posting these things there. Now you're starting to see this element starting to repost these videos and starting to say, see, we need to lead. You know, these black people are getting, you know, he, he's saying all kinds of stuff, you know, that's very derogatory and can be perceived as being quite inflammatory and so uh, but never mind the fact that there's a ton of videos that we can pull up right now of white people doing the same thing they don't want to show those kind of things but you know just let's just target on the black people you know in of itself so my point is is this is that you know this is a time right now again you know it's just like anything else you you when you are are looking at you know there's a lot of people that are putting out some very good information out there um, but at the same time, you don't buy in, you know, you still keep your head on the swivel. Okay. Because again, what I'm starting to see now is this anger that's starting to rev up amongst, um, certain individuals, you know, on social media where they're starting to find a reason to be angry. And when we go to our off plantation radio, and for those of you who have been following us, you know, who really is the culprit behind this thing. But, you know, I can't say it here, but, you know, there is let's just say there's a puppet master or puppet masters behind this that are trying to put these two sides against each other. You know, I saw a video recently where an, a member of that group was literally trying to school a group of um, African-Americans on a Zoom call, letting them know this is what's going on. We're actually putting one side against the other to fulfill our own purpose or whatever. And they still wouldn't believe in it. And it's just like, I don't, you know, so he was like, I just, I don't know what else I could tell you, but just tell you. But, uh, but yeah, it's really, it's something that I've been really noticing. I don't know if you've seen it as well, but um, it's, it's not that it hasn't been there before, but it's been there. But now I'm really starting to see it, you know, rev up, <laughs> you know, um, you know, on a whole nother level right now. So with that, coupled with the fact that, you know, um, on Tuesday, March the 21st, you know, Trump has put out, hey, listen, I need all Americans to fight for me because I'm supposed to be getting arrested. So we'll see what happens with that, you know. But um, <laughs> but anyway, um, be careful out there in those streets, family, because, again, you know, you take the information as good and as and can work with you and, and is a benefit but the other stuff you just want to make sure you be careful of. OK, so what we're going to do now, let's go ahead. We're going to take a short break here. And then when we come back, we're going to get into a couple of other things. We're going to talk about what was going on at the White House. 
You're listening to Digital Plantation. I'll be right back after this. Hey guys, I want to tell you about this brand new coloring book created by my son and I. It's called Reaching for the Stars. In it, we created 50 pages of black men black women with their own unique backstories who have built businesses and are doing the things they love and are enjoying life children will also get to see the value of men and women loving and working together we call this a forever coloring book because you can print and share with your children your grandchildren your little cousins as much as you like also, it's a great tool for homeschoolers and teachers. The price is $9.95, and you can purchase it right now on Chockstock.art. All right, that's Chockstock.art. Y'all check that out. We have a whole line of uh, cards and stuff that's uh, being uh, that there that we're uploading as well, or we've uploaded. So check that out at Chockstock.art. You know, because we got a whole line of greeting cards and mugs and all that kind of stuff there. So check that out when you get a chance. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get on back here. What we're going to be talking about here on the White House Uh, very recently. Now, many of you, I don't know if you've heard of this news agency. I've 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 actually seen them on um, on YouTube. I'm trying to find it. It was there. It's called Africa, um, Africa News or News Africa. Sorry. And um just very recently, you know, the White House, you know how they have their press briefings. Um, you know, there is a gentleman who represents um, News Africa who's been really demonstrating in there. He's saying, listen, enough is enough, you know, you know, in the, in this whole little tirade thing. And I'm going to play the audio here in a moment. He was just saying, hey, listen, I've been up in here for seven months and have not has and we have not been called on not once and I think that's a very fair point. Now, I do understand in that world, you know, just because you get a seat in the um, press briefing room, it doesn't guarantee that you're going to get a question answered there. In fact, there's been many cases where you have news agencies that have been in, in there for a very long time and they don't even get uh, get to ask anything. All they're doing is kind of writing down what the other people have asked and they're just writing it down. That's it. But this is a little different. And we've even heard, you know, black people, you know, who represent uh, black publications and all of that, who've complained of the same thing. OK, so that's one thing. If you're talking about just news agencies, this is a little different, I think, because this is News Africa, which means that they pretty much represent an entire continent. OK, an entire continent. That's a little bit different. So this news agency, based on their name, they are responsible, you know, part of is of playing the part that they're playing for the continent is supplying news for the continent, an entire continent. Now, if this was um, um, any other news agency, let's say the one for France, Germany, you go down the list. I doubt very seriously they would get the same treatment. But here in this particular case here, you know, this gentleman here, he's very frustrated and I'm going to play just a little bit of the video here so you can get to hear him what he's saying. And I, like I said, again, I think it's a very fair point, you know, so it's I'm not going to play the whole thing, but I want you to check out and listen to how this thing went down, how this thing played out at the White House. Make sure. You can't keep discriminating against some people in the briefing room because you don't like them, you don't like them. So you have a choice. No, you, you, you have a choice. You have a choice. A number of people okay. in the briefing room. And I'm saying that that's not right. This is not China. This is not Russia. This is the United ah! States. This is the White House. No, it's been seven months. I sent you the 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 rest of us are here too, pal. He has been seven months. You guys have not done anything for me. If you have grievances, you should bring them to her later. I have right done now, that. I have done that. All my emails have been ignored. And the press corps is tired of dealing with this. It is not about you, Simon. I understand that you get questions all the time and you don't understand why it is to sit here for eight months and be discriminated Wait, against. I understand that you're in the front row and you feel comfortable and you get questions all the time. But there are people. Well, anyway, you can hear how that goes on there. Now, you have you heard the one person back there screaming over him. Now, again, like I said, again, this guy represents an entire continent. 52 countries. Hope I got that number right. 52 countries in the in on the entire continent. And he's trying to report the news. He's trying to get questions answered. 
Never mind the fact that the United States has uh, bases on t- covering the entire continent. And you telling me that he can't get a question answered? And here you have the um, the the um, press secretary, who's also a black woman. She's up there rolling her eyes and all this other stuff and saying, we're not going to do this. We're not going to do this. See, this is what I keep telling people all the time. You keep voting and getting all excited because you got, quote unquote, black representation. And here we have black representation shutting down a whole continent from asking a question. Now, like I said, again, I think this brother has a very fair point. And why is it that he said, I actually misquoted him. Um, it wasn't seven months. He's been in there for eight months and has not been able to get a question in to the White House at all. Quite interesting. So you can take a listen to that. Do a search on YouTube or Twitter or whatever, and I'm sure you'll be able to find that video. But, yeah, I thought that was really interesting. Let's move on to our final story here. Now, Anthony Fauci. Now, I wanted to play this video. I, I wanted to play the audio for you guys, but... I had to really think about it, really, really think about it. And I was like, mm, I'm not going to chance it. I'm not going to chance it, even though it's coming from PBS, you know, but still, I'm not going to chance it. But I'll just describe it to you. <laughs> OK, how about that? And then I'll post the video over on our um, video platform, which is my And that's M-Y-B-A-N-T-U-B-E dot com. You can uh, check it out over there. I'll just upload it over there or you can do a search for it. You can find yourself. But anyway, in short, um, Anthony Fauci, he go he finds the blackest part. I mean, the blackest part of Washington, D.C. to go to preach the gospel of the jab. Tim, together with the mayor, uh, Muriel um, Bowser, and they're going over there. And then, you know, of course, they came across one person and she's. You know, it's an older black woman. She's screaming, oh, I would come and kiss you. But, you know, I, you know, I ain't, I ain't, I'm not properly dressed and all. And I'm like, oh, Lord. And so then you move on to someone else. And, you know, they were kind of excited, too. But then he went further down the street. OK, he went further down the street. Then he got he came across one lady who was like, well, you know, I heard this thing really doesn't cure anything. You know, and they try to talk, talk her down and say, well, you know, it ain't. Yeah, you know, but but it's better than nothing. You know, it's about protecting your family and all that stuff. And that's what the uh, mayor Bowser she chimed in. It was like trying to get her to, you know, hey, you know, you know, don't don't don't, you know, he's here now. You know, you don't want to, you know, he he's telling you the truth now. now. Shut up and listen. You know that kind of thing, right? But then the final one, the final round, he got to the boss round on this one, and he and it was a brother that got to the came to the door, and basically he started explaining. Of the fact that, hey, listen, I don't understand why it's it took, you know, uh, for something as this deadly. Why is it, why do y'all um, it's like you just, uh, just literally threw this thing together. <laughs> I mean, you know, and it's not you didn't take any you didn't take long at all. And, and the thing that I really like what he said was he said when you have to give people something in order for them to take it. He was like, there's something about that. That's not right. That's off. And boy, you should have seen Mayor Bowser. She was rolling her eyes, cutting her eyes, rolling that neck and everything. Well, listen, I'm going to tell you. And I was like, hold, hold on, sis. Let the man talk. Let the man talk. He, he might. He let him cook. Let him cook. He cooking over here. And so he kept on, you know, this, you know, t- t- telling him. And, and Fauci was trying to come back and was saying, listen, you know, it's about protecting your family and all that. He said, I get all that. He said, but why do you got to use fear in order to do it? You know, and all that stuff. And then he couldn't take it. And finally, he then then um, um, Mayor Bowser was like, OK, come on, let's just go, because he don't, he don't know what he's talking about. Don't you know you messing me up over here? You know, <laughs> and, and and he kept on, you know, and after a while he was like, stop using fear or whatever he was yelling to him. But they kept right on going. But see, I, I saw that and I was like, you know what? You know, with many of us who have been out here, who have been really um, hitting the concrete, so to speak, and telling our people, listen, educate yourself above all else. You know, again, I'm on the plantation. There's a lot I can't say. But my our main thing is educate yourself regardless of what the issue is. And um, and seeing that video and hearing that audio, um, it just did my heart so good because I was like, wow, it's good to see that people are out there doing it. You know, and um, this gentleman definitely was no exception. And uh, it was so good. So I'll have that video posted on um, on my And um, yeah, that's it. So, family, that's it. That's all I got for you today. So thank you again for t- tuning in to the digital plantation again, because the Internet is one big plantation. And I think you know that. 
Hey, family, you guys take care. And until next time, I'll see you again.